Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be sharing the progression of my new shallow beta tank. This tank's been set up for nearly a couple months now and it's absolutely exploded in growth and it also houses the prettiest beta in the world. So yeah, sit back, grab some sour gummies and enjoy this video. No, this is a joke. Okay, okay, okay. So today, I'm going to be setting up a UNS 45S. This is a more of a shallow tank. Um, yeah, and I got a cool idea with, oh, shit. I forgot to look up. I gotta restart. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, I'm just a dumbass. This is Blue Mountain Syrian Stone, straight from Syria. So yeah, I'm super excited for the substrate. I'm gonna use UNS's Contra Soil. It's a great aqua soil that will do the job for this build. So yeah, laid out, I kind of have my station. I have my, my stone that I'm gonna be able to, to use for this scape. I'm kind of gonna go with an arrow type uh, scape with having this portion of the tank higher and it kind of leads off. Um, to create some dimension and yeah I think it's gonna look pretty cool also I'm really excited to to do this build because it's my first tank with co2 so thanks to my lovely brother I have a c2 c2 co2 canister that will make this tank grow so let's start dumping That might be way too much. No. No. Let's see how this looks. So I kind of want to bank it. Yeah, that's going to be way too much. Way too much. Yeah, that's too much. But we're learning. This stuff is nice. It's literally like. It is nice. It it's like rubber. Yeah. But like, feels nice. So is it, what it looks like to me is kind of the. Uh, I want to start with that. The stuff underneath a, a turf field. <laughs> turf? It's literally turf. Feels like it. Okay. So that's kind of my slope for dimension. And I'm going to just start putting stones in and see how it looks. So. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, okay. That's basically what I want for this top stone. And then I want to put some Rotale Atra in the back. And yeah, start my carpet up here, my foreground within the rocks, and then my background. So yeah, I'm just going to continue keep placing my stone and see where they where they fit right Chopsef I think that looks pretty good That looks really cool sir I think that looks pretty good So I'm going to leave these two These rocks are, are nice too. These are nice rocks These are really nice rocks they do. And they'll look good in the water and they darken out. But yeah, I think this is kind of what I'm going to basically go for. There's going to be lots of tweaks along the way. Um, 
But yeah, I'm gonna start spraying it down and honestly just start planning. This is super simple. It's just, yeah, I'm gonna go for it. Let's, let's just say, cheers. This time you'll be thinking if I wipe it down, you can see inside the tank. Okay, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start with Monte Carlo because it's gonna be my very front carpet. Because it's my lowest, my lowest plant to the ground. So um, I'm just gonna take it and break it up into little clumps so I can plant it, but then it ends up spreading and making a carpet. So, just little pieces. This is so satisfying. And maybe you will judge me If I said that I hope you still love me We're gonna move on to pearl weed. I got two cups of pearl weed and we're pretty much, this grows a little bit taller and a little bit up. Monte Carlo grows a little bit more horizontally. So, um, we're gonna put this a little bit behind the Monte Carlo just to add a little bit of depth. Again, doing the same thing, just ripping it up in chunks. And placing it. So now we're gonna use hydrocodal tri tripersonia. Yeah. Mini. Eliminate the separation of the rocks. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, now we got some Bucephalandra. So yeah, this is the initial uh, first planning and hardscape of this tank. I eventually want to put some Rotala Atra up in this back corner and maybe along this side. I kind of want to keep this side open though in case I add another tank right here you can see through. Um, but yeah, for now, this is what I'm going to go with. Um, I think it looks pretty good. Um, we're going to make adjustments and see how it goes. Um, yeah, I'll see you in a day, a week. Um, Six months. Bye. Okay, sorry about that. That was rude. <laughs> but yeah, uh, this is it. Uh, about a week and a half later. So yeah, the plants are starting to grow in a lot. My carpet starting to fill out a little bit. Um, I added a few plants um, in the background. I added some Rotala Atra that should grow in pretty red. I'm excited for that. Um, but yeah, it's starting to grow in. Um, uh, not quite where I want it to be yet. Um, it's still got probably two more weeks to grow in and fully cycle before I add the beloved beta. So yeah, um, I'm just giving it some time, uh, letting things grow, letting things establish. Uh, I did set up the CO2 canister uh, the next day. Uh, that's going, it should last me about two month, month or two, so. So yeah, just letting things grow, letting it establish, uh, getting really excited, but I'm being patient with it. Um, so yeah, uh, next time I see you will probably be the time I release the beta, which will be in a couple of weeks. Uh, just super excited, super thankful for all of this. Uh, thank you Boost Plant and Ultimature Systems uh, so much for uh, sponsoring this tank and the plants. And I, I just couldn't be happier with the way it's turned out and the way it's gonna be growing in. So thank you so much, I appreciate it. And I appreciate everything, it's just, it's crazy. So uh, yeah, I'll check in in a couple of weeks and uh, show you the prettiest beta in the world. Let's go. Okay. So it's been just under a month later, and as you can see, it absolutely exploded with growth. <laughs> it 
The pearl weed is getting super tall and uh, same with the rotala in the back. So I'm gonna end up trimming some of that. If you wanna see a video on the maintenance of it, I'm gonna post an Instagram video um, before this video even comes out. So head over to my Instagram and uh, to see this. But yeah, I have the beta all ready. He is uh, already acclimated, ready to go. Um, I've been waiting so long and I'm super excited to finally do this. Um, yeah, I I was at my local fish store and I just knew I had to have him. He's a Koi Plaquette Beta and his markings are very unique and uh, he's a very spunky boy so I knew he was he was uh, my boy. So yeah, I'm just, I'm tired of waiting so I'm just gonna do it. Um, yeah. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready? Okay, let's go. Finally in. He is so pretty and he looks so good in this tank. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So yeah, uh, that's all I have for you today. Uh, I just want to uh, take a moment and just tell you thank you so much for for giving this a watch and uh, I enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun making this tank and it's really exploded in growth, which is something cool to see. And, the CO2, it's my first tank with CO2, so just seeing the difference it makes is crazy. And don't know if I can have another, start another point to tank without it at this point. Um, so yeah, just a uh, huge shout out to Ultimate Nature Systems and Boost Plant for uh, sponsoring this tank. And yeah, um, that's all I got for you. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like, subscribe if you wanna see more content like this. Um, I have all kinds of stuff coming up, and and yeah, it's, it's going to be cool. Um, we're learning, we're growing, we're improving, so um, that's all that matters at the end of the day. So thank you so much for the watch. As always, I don't know if I even have to say it, but I love you so much. Have a good day.